big crowd turned out at the Mildura Ski Club for the final day of the River Classic season. The title on the line, the G1 Logistics Mildura 100. Defending champion Superman had won Saturday's shootout, but faced a challenge from Southern 80 winner TR and local stars Pigs Arsenal. All three boats got away well on the trip to Wicked Sandbar and were separated by just a few seconds halfway up the river. But with a quarter of the first leg to go, Pigs Arsenal put the foot down and emerged at the turnaround eight seconds up on Superman with TR just behind. The return leg turned into a two boat race when Superman withdrew, then the Pigs crew turned it into a one boat procession. Powering home to win by 33 seconds from TR. Third home, skiing one up behind Temper 2, was Jack Coldrake, while Merkforce comfortably took out the women's event. But the day belonged to Pigs Arsenal, and the Stevens family of skiers Jack and Sean, Dad Chris behind the wheel, and experienced observer Mark Boyer. They tried to win the event for a long time, and were over the moon with the win. It's pretty special winning the home race, yeah. We've been um, chipping away at it for a lot of years and, and finally, you know, Superman had a little bit of bad luck um, which put us in a good spot, but still, yeah, to come home in even a quicker time was, was awesome. Chris was proud of his boys, paying particular tribute to Sean, who had bounced back following a crash at the Southern 80. Sean had a, um, had a step off at the Southern 80. We are in a very, very good position to be boat one on Sunday and it didn't, didn't happen for us. So um, he's come back from there and there's, there's, there can be a lot of demons, uh, a lot of mind, mind games that, that play out, but uh, he dug extremely deep um, and he's done an awesome job to get, get what we got today. For his part, Sean was keen to pay tribute to the local support. Obviously on your home track, um, we've got like all family um, down the track and they're all cheering us on on the way up and the way home and yeah, it's just that little bit of motivation to get you through the race and yeah, to see them all here at the finish line is awesome. And the skiers weren't the only ones paying tribute to the people of Mildura. Ski Racing Australia CEO Cam McConville praising the race organisers. Mildura laid on with the Ted Hurley and I think the 100 this weekend just went to another level. You know, all the ski racers come for the long weekend, such a close-knit fraternity and a fantastic race and a great result too to see the local boys take it out. McConville was happy with the season just passed but eager to get to work to grow the sport. The classics, I think, have gone tremendously well. You know, I've had some upsets along the way. I think Arkham teed off in Sydney, Victorian guys winning there on the Hawkesbury. Uh, then we had TR take out the 80 in record time and a nice way to finish off here in Mildura. I think the facilities here are exceptional, but every single club and state should be congratulated because all of the classics have gone off perfectly well and we've just had some great racing right throughout the field. This is the end of the classic, so everyone starts to uh, go back to their real jobs and the real work starts for us at Ski Racing Australia. So, look, there's a lot of reviews going on at the moment. Safety's always absolutely top of the list. Uh, we're doing a full review of some of our outboard racing. The rule book will be reviewed and then I'll hopefully get out and hustle and try and bring in some more commercial dollars for the sport because I think we have a lot to offer when you look at some of the activations here you know we really do support our sponsors and our brand so yeah it'll be a busy three four months in at SRA and uh, hopefully the competitors are refreshed and come back next year. And that wraps up a wonderful season of ski racing and the River Classics.